is a referee we have never seen before. Hey, the biggest names in the sport have been flown down here to be witnesses, and from the get-go, it, it's going to be a phone booth fight in this 22 by 22 foot ring for Diaz and Campbell. And Campbell comes out as though he wants to fight Diaz's fight and take the younger fighter out of his game. He's doing just that. He's going right after fighting his fight. I don't know if it's going to be the best thing for him, but Campbell is the big puncher in this fight here. He's but also I, going right to the body, Emmanuel, just as he said he would, Campbell. He's between the son of because that seems to be where Diaz is more vulnerable, the way he closes his right hand. He try to come up between the gloves more so. But everything he's doing is over on the outside. Nate Campbell has jumped Juan Diaz in the first round, trying to steal the initiative from the younger fighter. And now, within the last 10 seconds, Diaz has started to come back and fight more of his fight. But he's already bleeding over his left eye. Maybe Campbell wanted to make that statement early, but Emmanuel, did it seem to you a sign of desperation right from the opening bell? Well, I think he wanted to make a statement and, and, uh, to get some respect right away. But I think, you know, Diaz lags at all times, and I don't think he's going to get raffled that easy. However, he's but, bleeding above the left eye, and Campbell continues to strafe him with right hand. Both guys have landed solidly in round one. They could fight this fight in an eight foot by eight foot and, ring. And there hasn't been any serious clinches, even though both guys are fighting with their left shoulders, pushing each other, but they refuse to clinch. Well, I've never seen Diaz clinch in any of the fights I've covered. And Campbell is here to fight tonight. point can Campbell keep up that energy level that's because frankly case. this is yeah. the way Diaz likes that's to fight. the way Diaz fight Campbell is a better puncher but I don't know if he can continue at this pace that he's going at but I also like to he doesn't have Ronnie up in the corner talking to him between rounds no I don't think he will affect him. don't forget his, his last fight he fought without Ronnie after all Juan Diaz doesn't make a lot of tactical adjustments in his fights he is there to bring it three minutes of every round Right now, Campbell's slowing down, and Diaz is still Diaz. Jim, that's a great way to describe it. Diaz is still Diaz, and he's going to be that way throughout the entire fight. Can you go with it? Can you stay with it? When he keeps it up, round after round after round. Okay, you can flash for a couple of minutes, but can you stay with it? That's Nate, the real question. Nate Campbell said going into this makes him incredibly easy to root for Juan Diaz. But, but you know, if you look at Campbell, even though he may fall or may not, at this point, I give him credit. He's fighting a tremendous fight, though. Can anybody here, Chad? In round two, 71 of their 73 combined connects for power shots. They are for one of the few moments, they're far enough apart for the jab to mean something. It looked like both guys had the same idea coming out in this round to get away and box a little bit. <laughs> Seems like they got the same instructions. But the, the, the one, one thing about the show, they're both busy. There's still been no clinches, and the intensity is still there, whether they're fighting at a distance or in close. Campbell going back to that right hand of the body over and over, trying to take some of the steam. Now Diaz goes to the body and lands upstairs with the right hand. It's almost as if the two fighters are trying to match each other in a series of skill tests. Who can tap better? Who can land more body shots? <laughs> Who can keep up the intensity trading inside? And even the head punches that Diaz lands a lot on Camel. Camel rolls a lot on him. He doesn't take the full impact of the head punches. With most of the shots, he's rolling and slipping the slide, so he doesn't get hit with the full impact. The crowd may be getting excited, but he's not getting hit that clean. Just like right there. Two rounds to one, 29, 28, one Diaz in a very close fight. Diaz now beginning to focus a little more to the body. 
Campbell comes back with his right hand to the body, trying to balance the scales it, again. Making sure they're clean active shots. Better plan? Yeah, it's a better plan now because I, I think that he cannot actually just out punch the ass, and he realizes that. Thing about Nate Campbell, it's making this such an excellent fight so far, is Diaz's ability to break his opponent's spirit. And already, Emmanuel, I sense that the start has come out of Campbell's punches, and he's lost the capacity to hurt Diaz. Yeah, but, I, but, I, but I, even though Diaz is throwing a lot of punches, he hasn't landed the last 30 seconds. I saw the punches going, but Campbell seemed to have been resting, rolling, and picking the punches, and placing his punches more effectively now. Solid right hand by Diaz. Must be cringing right now if he's trying to watch this in Houston. Don't watch. Boxing is hard on the cranium. You know, even though Diaz is, is doing good in these fights, but how many of these type fights can he have in his career? Exactly what it's I was thinking. It's going to take his toll. So you, you cannot have a long career fighting these type fights. Eddie, who spent much of his career in this same weight class, is not as gifted or as fast-handed as Diaz. From a skilled boxer to more of a brawler, you can see it. Short career. And should Katsidi beat Casamayor, the idea would be Diaz against Katsidi in a as you this know, one is, incidentally. You know, and, and you know, I'm looking at Diaz is probably winning the round, but the real clean, effective blows, pinpoint blows, are still being landed by Campbell and I. And, 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 <laughs> Good left hook upstairs by Campbell. Momentarily stopped Diaz in his tracks. Juan comes back with a body flurry. <laughs> Maybe Juan Diaz? <laughs> Campbell targeting uppercut, as he has been all night. He has one, two, three, four left hooks. Campbell, three left hooks and a right uppercut. Seesaw battle back and forth. Don't envy you doing blow by blow in this fight, Jim. It's not radio, <laughs> and thank heaven for that. <laughs> Pace slows a little bit here in round six. Carl, what's the situation of Evan right now if, if they had stopped it on this cut? Get up, get up. Ben is over for Let me tell you, man, it is one of the weirdest things I ever saw. You can't let a fighter go over his corner and have his cut man work on him in the middle of a round. Okay, Jim. I have a 58, 55, Juan Diaz, four rounds to two. You got to give Juan Diaz an extra point because the referee took one away. So I've got him with a three-point lead. Jim, I got to tell you something. Nate Campbell's got a great up jab. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but he's got one of the real good up jabs in boxing. I mean, he got that glove down around the waist, and he comes up with it, and lands that left jab constantly. Watch it, Jim, because he's one of the few guys in boxing that's really good at it. Four rounds to two, Diaz. No hold. But that's part of Nate Campbell's athletic quality. He can do unusual things in the ring. Well, just, according, just to like Box, that. according to the CompuBox count, Emmanuel, the volume is coming from Campbell, too. CompuBox says that Campbell has thrown more punches in every round. And that's what seems to be the problem. I'm so much worse at cuts, but it just seemed like they're not stopping it. And every chance that he gets, and uh, Campbell uses his elbows and his head to keep aggravating the cut as much don't as possible. Yeah. Right around this yeah. point in most fights is when Diaz starts to really break the will of his opponent. Nate Campbell does not look broken, does he? You don't have to back back a lot when he's fighting. Well, how would Campbell's will be broken when he now has the encouragement of looking at that bad cut on Diaz's left eye? That's tremendous incentive for Campbell to keep going. He's got a foothold toward winning the fight. We'll show you the names later on. 
now Diaz rallies a little bit. Hits Campbell with a straight, clean right hand. This is not the relentless punching machine we've seen before. And he's taking a lot of clean shots to the head right now. Diaz is. Clean and, and to the body. Uh, you made the point, or Emmanuel made the point a couple rounds ago, that it doesn't appear the solution that's being put on Diaz's left eye is coagulating the blood. You in the past have made the point that in different areas, different jurisdictions, different chemical solutions are stipulated as being available for this purpose. What but you know, even if you're using adrenaline chloride, which a lot of people don't realize, you must look at the date on it. You know, because a lot of the guys, these old trainers, yeah, I've got my adrenaline chloride, but if you look at the date, it might be 1999 because they haven't had to use it. And that's a major factor. Avatine thrombin adrenaline. Avatine is the best thing you can use, and it doesn't look like they use an Avatine. I mean, it looks to me as though they're using nothing but adrenaline chloride and pressure. Right. And to tell you the truth, it's not stopping the bleeding. I mean, if I were Willie Savannah, I would have hired an experienced cut man, a guy that knows how to use Avatine, and been using Avatine all along. And Nate Campbell is starting to land punches that result in knockouts. The blood is pouring into Diaz's eye. Diaz does not have the kind of punching power to score a surprising knockout. What Campbell is trying to do, he's trying to let Diaz throw a right hand, roll the right hand, and return with a counter right hand. He's been missing him, but as Diaz is getting tired, that's a punch and he's better be very careful. He doesn't get caught with. No, Diaz is tired. He punches in the round to only 16 for a suddenly slowed down Juan Diaz. Harold, how do you have it through nine? Look at you, but you know, I've got it five rounds to four. Nate Campbell, plus an extra point that the referee gave him for that uh, headbutt. So I've got it all leaving on his scorecards, but to tell you the truth, Campbell's won three in a row on my scorecard. He's got six kids. That's a bad grandpa, boy. Don't want to mess with this grandpa. Body shots by Campbell. Campbell is Back breaking Diaz him down. Up. He's grinding him down. Juan like Diaz is fighter. folding up like an accordion before our very eyes because of the tremendous effort of Nate Campbell in this fight. I, I think I properly stand corrected there. But I, but I do know what you mean. No, he but is, it was, the, I was over-dramatizing it. The, he's just nodding to me, telling me that he's doing everything he said he would do. He indeed is. He pulled a good veteran move before the start of this round, getting up and whooping it up, celebrating, further discouraging Diaz, who could barely get off the stool. This is the 11th out of a schedule 12. Diaz may be getting beat, but he is still fighting. He's never given up trying to fight, though, which is, is very in, impressive. He had excelled in a variety of sports, but hadn't really stuck in any of them. He was working as a stock boy in a Winn-Dixie in Jacksonville on the overnight ship to keep himself awake. He would shadow box from time to time. Oh. From, from Max Schmeling's upset of Joe Lewis, we've seen special, glossy, undefeated young phenoms upset by hungry veterans who perceive their opportunity as the last they'll get. It's continuing, but Emmanuel, what about those scorecards? But, but, but you know, I don't know about the scorecards, but I know one thing, I would say this, normally when you get upset, it's with a guy that came out, put their hands together and started punching right away. Same way that they started out the fight. You know, Campbell them telling him, you know, don't take, I mean, taking the chances. He's still got to go out. He's got one point they took against him still. It still is a pro-Mexican environment here. So nevertheless, he still needs to try to win this round big. And so many of those early rounds. Was Two or three rounds ago, it looked like Diaz had had enough, and his corner was ready to pack it in. And Diaz is not a dangerous puncher. Yeah, that's one thing. If he took his punches, for 11 rounds, it's very unlikely that Diaz is going to knock him out in the 12th round. Procrastinating before they sent him out for the round to buy time, and he's still there in the 12th and final round throwing punches, Diaz. An amazing young fighter, even in apparent defeat. Well, well I mean, Campbell is... Campbell has won this fight, unless there's a knockdown that occurs right now. Whether or not the judges give it to him, it's pretty clear that he is the winner here. They'll finish it up just the way they started. Toe to toe. All the way down to the belt. 
So by split decision, the highly questionable judging crew manages, in our view, to get it right. And Campbell has his well-deserved victory over Diaz, and young Diaz, who was valiant as always, suffers his first loss.